टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नाइन्थ यूनिट ऑफ योर इलेक्ट्रो योर क्रैश कोर्स विच इज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ क्लास सिलेबस इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट सो यू विल गेट डेफिनेटली टू और थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम दिस सो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स बेसिकली यू नो दैट चार्ज कैन प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वट इज करेंट यू स्टडीड इन क्लास टेंथ करेंट मीन्स रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज बट वॉट चार्ज एग्जैक्टली कैन डू रिमेंबर इफ चार्ज इज स्टेशनरी इफ चार्ज इज स्टेशनरी इट कैन प्रोड्यूस ऑनली इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट इट कैन अट्रैक्ट और रिपल एनी अनदर चार्ज विच इज इन इट्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट कैन अट्रैक्ट अपोजिट नेचर ऑफ चार्ज इट कैन रिपल सेम नेचर ऑफ चार्ज बट इफ चार्ज इज इन मोशन मीन्स स्टेशनरी चार्ज can produce only electric field but if it is moving with constant velocity it was stationary its velocity was zero now it is a moving charge and it is moving with constant velocity now it can produce magnetic field also now it will produce electric field as well as magnetic field but if it is moving with variable velocity it means acceleration or retardation is present there then it will add one more thing means it will produce electric field it will produce magnetic field plus now it will radiate energy plus it will radiate energy what is charge charge is a fundamental physical quantity in mksq system initially this system was there but now in si units we are taking current as fundamental physical quantity so now charge is a derived unit what is current you know from 11th class rate of flow of charge so now charge is a derived unit whose dimensional formula is ta it is its dimensional formula and its unit is coulomb next so you studied that if charge is stationary only electric field is there 
if it is moving it will form current now magnetic field is also associated with it if it is accelerating or in retardation motion then one energy will also associate with this so what you studied in the chapter in which charge is stationary is known as electrostatics it means we deal only with electric fields associated with one charge or group of charge or distribution of charge so getting my point in electrostatics we will study it only about electric effects of charge coulomb is as a unit cgs units in this chapter are known as esu cgs system is now changed and now its name in this chapter is esu for electricity what do you mean by esu electrostatic units electrostatic units for competitive purpose it is important to know that charge can not exist without mass but mass can exist without charge since in each and every atom negative charge is in outermost shells means negative charge is moving around the central part which is called nucleus so in each and every atom there are two parts what positive charge is in nucleus suppose 10 units so you will find 10 unit negative charge moving around the nucleus in fixed energy levels so you will find same thing here if it is plus 3 unit you will find plus 3 units of negative charge in outermost shells the positive charge resides in a nuclear in the form of protons and negative charge is orbiting around the nucleus in form of these are negative charges form of electrons so you should know little bit about protons and electrons protons have positive charge of magnitude 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs same electron has negative charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs and center of negative charge is same means nucleus so they are cancelling the effect of each other so net charge on an atom is zero if you want to charge any body any conductor what you have to do since you cannot go you cannot approach the nucleus so it means if you want to give negative charge to any object take some electron from this atom and supply to another atom what will happen there initially every object has same number of electrons and protons but now if you put some electrons on that object balance is now not there now negative charge is more in quantity so we will say that this object is negatively charged if you want to give positive charge to any object what you have to do remove some electrons from that point it means you are decreasing the negative charge again it is disbalanced now positive charge is more in quantity so we will say 
that object is positively charged. So it means only electrons are responsible for charging positively or charging negatively to an object. If you want to charge positively, remove some electron. If you want to charge negatively, give some electrons. It means if you are negatively charging an object, you are increasing its mass because electrons cannot exist without mass. Mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and that of proton is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg minus 27 kg it means electrons are very lighter than protons nearly 10,000 times heavier than electron protons are so it means now remember that if one object is negatively charged it means you increase its mass if it is positively charged it means you decrease its mass if you are removing n electrons it means you are positively charging that object by this amount if you are giving some electrons it means you are negatively charging that object by this amount so this type of conceptual problem they can ask in your exam and coulomb gave one law that similar charges are rippling each other and opposite charges are attracting each other and force of attraction or repulsion is given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square suppose it is charge q1 it is charge q2 distance between them is r so force should be this what is the direction of force this charge is rippling this charge it means it is applying first charge on second charge is applying this force and the second charge applying on first charge this force if you want to write in vector form we have to add direction what is the direction of f12 it is in this direction suppose in this direction unit vector is r cap so what i have to do now multiply this by r cap r cap means a unit vector in the direction of r we can write this one upon four pi epsilon naught q1 q2 to r cap you can write vector r upon its modulus r is also modulus of this vector so we will write this upon r cube it is a unit vector along the direction from 1 to 2 so it is a vector form if you want vector form you can write this it is we are taking a unit vector in the direction of 1 to 2 so in vector form only take care it will be r cube it, if it is not a unit vector and what is this epsilon naught it is permittivity of free space means how much electric lines of force medium is allowing of free space if some another medium is there so we have right in place of this permittivity of that space which is equal to epsilon naught into k k is known as dielectric constant 
k is known as dielectric constant means it will reduce the electric field how it will reduce the electric field if you put some dielectric means some non conducting material here suppose this plate was positively charged this plate was negatively charged they were attracting each other but you put one another medium between these plates this negative charge will attract the positive part of this dielectric and this positive charge will attract the negative part of this dielectric means inside the dielectric one electric field is formed in opposite direction of main electric field so it will reduce the electric field by which amount it will reduce that is known as k dielectric constant so what is this epsilon not i told you in competitive exam they can ask you the dimensional formula unit or its value its value in si units is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 what should be its unit take epsilon not in place of force and force in place of epsilon not so you will get q1 q2 means coulomb square 4 by have no units 4 and by both are unitless dimensionless so take f in place of this so coulomb square per newton square meter square next thing is this ki if you put this value you know the value of 4 and by so you will get this constant's value 1 upon 4 pi epsilon's value nearly 9 into 10 to the power 9 9 into 10 to the power 9 si units now i told you ki cgs system in electrostatics is known as esu esu means electrostatic unit electrostatic unit or you can do one thing if you want to write cgs unit of any term related to electrostatics only add one little word that is known as stat means if we are saying coulomb is si unit of charge cgs unit should be stat coulomb if we are saying volt is the si unit of potential difference stat volt or simply you can write esu name of system esu stat volt and 1 coulomb is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 9 esu and 1 volt is equals to 1 upon 300 esu so this was all about charge now we are going to discuss if we have two equal and opposite charge and we kept them very close to each other system will form an electric dipole now we have to revise some small portion of this uh, chapter what is this number 1 we studied about force and i told you if you keep a charge at a point it will attract or repel any another charge which is near to this charge why i am saying near to this charge because this force is dependent on distance and inversely proportional to square of distance if r is increasing force will become less and for after one limit it will become nearly zero so this field up to which it can attract or repel another charge is known as its electric field its electric field in its electric field 
at any point if you are keeping unit positive charge force experienced by that charge is known as intensity of electric field generally denoted by e so what should be the value of e if this point is at a distance r it should be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square q upon r square getting my point one more definition is there if you are taking unit positive charge from infinity to that point work done by you is known as potential at that point and with the help of integration already you have calculated in the your board exams preparation what is it it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r electric field is a vector quantity but potential is a scalar quantity potential is a scalar quantity due to positive charge potential is positive due to negative charge potential is negative if you have two charges q1 and q2 and from infinity you took these two charges and put at some place the work done by you is stored in these charges in the form of potential energy so what is the potential energy of this two charge system if they are kept at a distance r c when you are taking first charge from infinity to this point no electric field is opposing or supporting this so you have to do no work so it came here without doing any work but when q2 is coming there q1 will resist so you have to do work only that work will store in the form of potential energy you know that at r distance potential due to q1 is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 by r it means if you take plus 1 charge from infinity to this point you have to do this amount of work if you are taking 2 unit charge work should be double if you are taking 3 unit charge from infinity work should be triple but if you are taking q2 unit charge work should be q2 times it means when you take q2 charge from infinity to that point you have to do this amount of work it is known as potential energy of these two charge system it is potential energy of these two charge system so it is given by q1 q2 upon r 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught getting my point so it is the potential energy of the system q1 q2 upon r so it is the potential energy so it is the potential energy of two charge system you know that potential energy is a scalar quantity so it is unaffected by presence of any other charge suppose three charges are there q1 q2 and q3 and you want to calculate potential energy of this three charge system this distance is r1 it is r2 it is r3 so you have to calculate potential energy for each pair of system means for q1 q2 it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r for this pair q1 q3 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q3 by r it is by r1 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q3 by r2 of this system q2 q3 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q2 q3 
by R3. Not a tough task, you will get total potential energy. So, now we are moving towards a system of two charges in which one is positive and one is negative and they are equal in amount means if it is plus q it is minus q. If you kept two equal and opposite charges very close to each other this system is known as electric dipole electric dipole just like a small magnet small magnet is known as magnetic dipole and we know that in each magnet there are two poles which are opposite in nature but equal in strength same thing is here two charges opposite in nature but equal in strength they are kept a nearby distance from each other so this system will known as electric dipole the term related to this electric dipole is known as dipole moment and dipole moment is a vector quantity denoted by p the magnitude of this dipole moment depends upon charges and distance between them means it is q into l one of the charges and distance between the charges and its direction is from negative charge to positive charge to positive charge what they are doing sometimes sometimes they are using three charges and asking for electric dipole suppose I have this coordinate system and I am keeping plus q charge at this point they will give you coordinate of this minus 2 q charge at this point and again plus q charge at this point they can ask you find the dipole moment of this system but no dipole we are, we are unable to get any dipole because in dipole two charges should be equal and opposite in nature so what to do split this minus 2 q in two parts associate 1 minus q with plus q and 1 minus q with this plus q so one dipole moment is in this direction and one dipole moment is in this direction with the help of these distances calculate the amount of both dipole moments since they are vectors acting at angle of 90 degree and you know the vector law of addition so add this vector in the form of vectors so you will get under root p1 square plus p2 square so in this way you can find the total the electric dipole moment of this system i told you that this dipole system the system is behaving like a magnet so what you are calculating for magnet or you can calculate for this it means if you are keeping this dipole in a electric field it will align in the direction of electric field plus q charge in the direction of electric field in opposite direction it is minus q if you want to displace this electric dipole if you want to rotate this electric dipole by an angle theta you need one torque which should be equal to q e sin theta if your dipole is at an angle theta 1 and you want to make angle theta 2 you have to do work what amount of work q e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 p e sir not q e p e p is dipole moment p e cos theta 1 it is also 
PE not QE, PE. Why it is PE? C. If we make this dipole at an angle theta, what will happen? We say that electric field intensity is E. It means at this place unit charge will experience a force E in the direction of arrow. So, plus Q charge will experience a force of Q E in this direction and minus Q charge since it is negative same force in opposite direction this is Q E. So, they form one couple. So, torque of couple will try to rotate this electric dipole if this angle is theta this angle should be theta suppose distance between the charges is L. If you take sin theta in this triangle what you will get perpendicular perpendicular if I am saying this point is A this point is B and this point is C. So, perpendicular means AC distance between the two forces perpendicular distance between these two forces into AC divided by perpendicular upon hypotenuse which is length of dipole. So, what we are getting AC? We are getting AC is equals to L sin theta. So, from rotational motion we know the torque. What is torque? One of the force into distance between the two forces which is AC. So, what we are getting? QE L sin theta but q into l is p. So, we are getting p e sin theta. So, torque is p e sin theta and in rotational motion you know that work is equals to torque into angular displacement. So, with the help of integration we can get this result. Number 2 if you are keeping electric dipole at some place means it is electric dipole formed by plus q charge and minus q charge. If you want to calculate electric field in this position it is known as Gauss A position Gauss A or and on position and on position. If you want to calculate electric field at this point what you will get since this distance L is very less. So, you can ignore in comparison to this big length. So, you will get electric field 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p p is dipole moment upon r cube. You will get electric field in this amount, but if electric dipole is like this and point is on this line perpendicular bisector of electric dipole. If point is at this position it is plus q and it is minus q. Plus q will ripple minus q will attract. So, resultant is in this direction. So, you will get electric field in this position 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p upon r cube this distance is r. But if this point is at an angle theta with the axis of dipole at r distance at this point then you will get electric field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. P upon r cube root of 1 plus 3 cos square theta 1 plus 3 cos square theta. So, not a tough task you can remember about all these results for electric dipole. So, next